Y'all, it's your girl, Lanita Gill. Up early in the morning. Got to get up at 5 o'clock anyway. Hey, y'all. Y'all know who eyes are those. That's my sister. 54 Keys. Shake, employee shake down. She said, 54 Keys. My sister always said, let's ride. And since I like to ride, let's go. I want y'all to check this video out right here. Y'all done seen it millions of times. It's an old video that uh, she uh, researched. And I want to go over and critique on her video. Here I come, sister. This your girl, Lanita Gill. In the building. I hear you. I'm back for the 2020. 21. And I know I got a lot of new people over here, so I want to welcome y'all to the channel. Beautiful. Welcome. And then those that's been riding with me for a minute, I want to say, hey. Hey. Y'all know how we do. We ride over here. And prior to me taking a break, I was working on the hotel employees. Okay. Okay, because I think it's important that we break these motherfuckers down. Right. We focused a lot on these kids. Right. But ain't no doubt in my mind that at some point, Kanika ended up with somebody from the hotel. And you're right. Somebody from the hotel ended up with her. Okay. I'm, I'm, and y'all know how I feel about the beverage manager. Mm -hmm. I'm, I've always been on his yeah, ass. Yeah, you've been on And him. I'm still on his ass. I hear you. But let's look at everybody the police interviewed. Okay. So in this video, that's what we're going to do. We're going to look at who they interviewed. We're going to look at in what order these motherfuckers were interviewed. Okay. And we're going to look at why the fuck did y'all interview them? All right. Okay? okay. That's what we're going to do in this video right here. Okay. Um, Because we had a lot of questions. And this case need to be reopened because, I mean, I You're feel right. like there's some important questions that are not being answered. You're right. They're not being answered. And it's like, they don't give a fuck. Like, they gave us that footage like, fuck us. Yeah. You're right. And Sis. here we are almost three years in, still trying to figure out what the fuck happened. Still, to this day. Amen. But I gathered a lot of information about the hotel employees, and I put it all in this video right here. So, you know, y'all know how we do over here. We break shit down. So We're... that's what we're going to break down. Okay. Okay? And... Before we do that, we're going to rewind for the one time. One time. Ride with me. Let's go. <laughs> when Kanika got off this elevator, we don't know what happened to her. We don't know who she got off with, you know, who she got on with, who she got off with. We don't know. That's right. We what don't. Do we? Remember this? Can't see. This was part of the video footage that they did not want us to see. I can't see it, sis. But this I see a shadow. Oh, I see what you're doing. Don't forget about this. What the what the what? What are they doing right there? Look like they working. Can't see that, sis. What is he bending over now, doing? we don't know if this was the same struggle or two separate events. Mm. But this is what they wanted us to believe happened toward the end. Okay, I see that cup right there, sis. And After she, going through all that. She walked into straight. She went through this. It ended up like this. Some ain't right. How? 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 I'm not understanding why they no. won't reopen this case. I don't need How did she end up like this? They told us that she walked into this freezer at about 3.32 a.m. And then don't forget about this. These two motherfuckers holding the conversation at about 5.30, 5.50 in the morning. That's what it was. It was about 5.50. Look how long okay. their arms are. And why is he hiding? And what? Look. Now, 
We don't know if they're discussing Kanika. No. But this discussion came about two hours, two and a half hours. Mm. After she ended up in the freezer. At least that's what they want us to believe. Okay. I don't believe it. And while they're holding this conversation, this is this is what we catch. That shit. Like I said, we don't know if they're talking about Kanika, but it might. It, it, I mean, it's mighty strange that this came two hours after. The well, fact. they probably was on break, sis. Timing is everything. And then we had this motherfucker. They go that cup. Remember the maintenance guy come through? Nice. They told us that after Kanika went in, the only other person or people behind her was this guy right here. And that was at about 8.34 the next evening. The evening of the night. Why he stopped right there? He in and he out. Then, him. Why he go all the way around the, he went the straight table? straight to the freezer. Well, he went around. Why he didn't go the way? I don't understand wait? that part. Why he didn't go the way Kanika went, you sis? Do? I don't understand that. He on your ass. He on your ass. Does any of that shit look right to y'all? Nope. Because none of that shit look right to me. None of it. I don't trust none of it. Neither. And that's why we need to be looking at these hotel employees because motherfuckers was moving fine. Okay? Okay. And y'all know how we do over here. If you move funny, we on your ass. I like your hair. Now, they found, he found Kanika at about 12, 25, somewhere around in there. Mm -hmm. Police Damn. got there. They cleared the scene at 530. Well, twenty five. Well, there, they interviewed some people. Hold up, so like hold I said, we're gonna look at the hotel up, employees and we're gonna look at their their statements hold up. and Let's also stop. the. Let's stop right here, sis. Twelve twenty five. I thought that when you made the other video with the brothers in it, they said they left the hotel at what one one thirty or two. And they saw Kanika go out the door. Remember, remember your video that you got. Of the brothers, uh, Winky, all of them, and Pucky, they said they left the park. They left at one thirty. So where's twelve thirty five come? How did police find Kanika at twelve thirty five? On them y'all ass. <laughs> Order in which they were interviewed, because overall, um, police interview seven employees seven seven so we're gonna look at all seven employees okay so come on let's go let's we go ride i'm riding Shit. so after they found kanika shortly after 12 on mm -hmm. the 10th shortly after 12 they interviewed this motherfucker the beverage manager you don't like and him. naturally so because he found the body and I'm quite sure at some point they told that motherfucker, like, look, don't go nowhere, motherfucker. We're going to want to talk to you. Because don't forget, we found footage of him after he found Kanika. This shit. We found him doing this. He went back to work. He was still working. What are you doing with the sheet? And now, then, and now then, let's stop. Pause. What night be saying pause? Now, you see that bag, that, that, that black bag? A lot of people think it's a body in there. But you know what, y'all? It could be a body in there. But now, don't forget now, it's a mark there. And uh, a mortuary, right? And a mark there where they put dead bodies. It's somewhere down there in the basement. So, that could have been that, that body. I guess, allegedly. All about right. 10 minutes after this, he in the hallway looking like this. Look like he planned That's about 1.15 in the morning. Dang. So sometime after 1.15, the police interviewed him. And this is what he said in his statement. And pay attention to this part. Wow. Where the statement took place. It says that on, on the early morning hours of September the 10th, they spoke with Crown Plaza employee in the north parking lot 
of the hotel for a statement. Okay. And I was like, uh, wait a minute. So all this time they they interviewing him in the parking lot? That's what I'm saying. Wow. I was sad. like, oh, well, damn. Maybe. This shit wasn't even inside the hotel. They caught up with his ass. Now, my thing is this. Was he leaving? Was his shift over? Was he leaving for the oh, day? Oh, yeah. They hawked his ass down if he was. They stopped him. And caught up with him. You right. In the parking lot. That made sense. He told the police that he was the assistant food and beverage manager. Mm-hmm. And that he assisted with security at times when needed. And I always found that odd. Because I was like, well, damn, why would you? So you the assistant food and beverage manager. And you wanted to make sure that they knew that you assisted with security. Wow. When needed. And I thought, like, well, why would he add that part? Oh, he covered You know what I mean? Why would he add that part? Then I thought, maybe it was to explain why he was in on the search for Kanika. Yeah. Because wasn't nobody else looking. Remember, we we followed the female manager around. She wasn't looking for Nika. Mm -mm. She was watching the tapes. But they weren't actively looking for her. Because the police was there. Yeah, that So maybe... He added that little bit to explain why he was in on the search for her. I mean, you know. Okay. But then the police asked him to walk them through his whole day on the night. Whole day. And I always found that strange. Me too. But the more and more I read that, I was like, wait a minute. Yeah. Like, why the fuck? If, if I just stumbled across a body on some random shit, why would you need to know what I did? The whole day. day. That didn't make sense. Like, really? Not just 20, 30 minutes prior I to know. me finding the body? The whole day. They wanted to know what he did. They they said, walk us through your day. Did, do that sound strange to anybody yeah, else? Yeah, it sounds strange. Like, they think he did it. You know, it was almost involved. as if they had already heard some shit. Yeah. You know, it might have been something as simple as some employees like, yeah, you know, Lonnie was acting funny. The beverage manager, you know, he came in earlier than usual. Or he came in, you know, he stayed later than, than normal. So, by the time they got to him, they telling him, walk us through your whole day. And that's what he did. That old man don't told remember. The that he started his shift at 2 o'clock p.m., which would have been the night. Um, he told them that shit. It was like any other day. He did his job. And then at some point, he had to assist the police with searching for a missing person. I'm like, yeah, okay. Yeah, but if I'm loud, stupid. <laughs> if his shift started at 2, then I wonder what time his shift was supposed to end. What, 2 to 10, 2 to 11? Because remember, we didn't get, they, they didn't know his schedule because remember, in that one report, it said that the managers did not punch in and punch out. So, I mean, was he salary? And again, was his shift 2 to 10? I mean, 2 to 2, nigga? Do, I mean, did he do 12-hour shifts? I don't know. I don't know either, but his but shirt should have been tough. He told them, like, he, he just was doing his job. But what he forgot to tell them is that he was following motherfuckers. We saw yeah. We on your ass. I love it. On September the 9th mm-hmm. at 8.23 and 39 seconds, okay. I showed y'all the video of the female manager leaving from the front desk and coming down those stairs and heading down this hallway. Right? Yeah. And then 10 seconds later, at 8.23 and 49 seconds, the beverage manager is on her ass. His shirt on now, too. He cut down this hallway right here. But she went the other way. And it just seemed strange to me because we were watching her move. But then at 8.24 and 21 seconds, she headed back upstairs. Looks like she's running. And when she gets back upstairs, that's when she calls the police. And she's calling the police on Miss Teresa. Wow. They up there, they they acting up up there. And she calls the police. The police was dispatched at 8.29. So when they got there, they told her to watch the tapes okay they got her watching the tapes and when she recognized Kanika on surveillance 
she told them, she, she went to the police and she told them like, look, I seen her go down here in this lower level and I never seen her come back out. And the police said, well, she didn't. Show us. Show us, show us where she was. Where okay, she, she, I'm going to stop where, right where now. And uh, I'm going to kind of skip it a little bit, y'all, because y'all already seen this. Just like Trey Gang said, y'all already seen all these videos. But I thought on the 10th is when, babe, I'm, I got confused. I thought uh, my, my sister, 54 Keys, said on the 10th they found Kanika, the police found Kanika at 1235. Was it the 10th? And then right here on the 9th, something going on. I, I could be wrong. But let me skip it, y'all, because I don't want the whole thing. Let me skip. I'm going to skip, sis, a little bit. I don't want the whole video. Because they, they want to see it. They ain't got to do nothing but save it, like y'all said. Share the video. Ooh, love it. Let me see how far I got. Okay, yeah, y'all, right here. It's a little after 3 o'clock. And I've told y'all, we've talked on numerous occasions about the crucial time. And I believe the crucial time is between 2.30 and 3.30. And here we got the security guard being sent up to the ninth floor around 2.30 and around 3.30. It almost feels like a distraction. You know, like he was being sent away from where the shit was really popping off. But guess who's sending him? Who? Oh. This motherfucker oh, wow. got him running around. And you mm. know what? If they would have reviewed those cameras at about 3.30, mm -hmm. Kanika could still be with us. Period. But they did. They did. And that's a problem. But later on in the security guard statement, he told the police that he was leaving the country on September the 22nd. So he telling them four days after this interview, he out of here. He don't see it at all. And that was a red flag for a lot of people because they was like, what the fuck he running for? Yeah. Why he got to leave the country? Get out of here. But y'all, what it seemed like to me mm -hmm. is that at some point, I think, the security guard put two and two together. Yeah. I don't think he was in on what happened to Kanika. He's so young. But I think he has a pretty good idea of what happened. Uh-huh. And they don't want him to talk. And who was involved. And he got the fuck up out of here. So did. Four days after this interview. And police let him go. They let him go. But it seemed like his interview was tailored around the noise complaints. And that's it. Now, sis, let me ask you something. Now, the police report is different from the hotel report. So why didn't the police use their report instead of, but they used the hotel report of what happened? This young man right here is scared. He is fear for his life. He's a young man trying to get his life together, probably getting ready to get married or something. Or already married. I get the hell on too. Let me go on. I'm tucking it in. Hold on. Let's see what's going on. Cause he peeping. Look at him, y'all. He peeping. Like, what the what? So, yeah, he's suspecting a motherfucker too. He, he looking at somebody. Now, we might discuss that in the next video. But I'm going to see where this video takes us first. But out of the seven employees, to me, it seemed like these four were most important. The beverage manager, you know, of course, because he found the body. He was lying. He was following motherfuckers around. He handing over footage. He was on their radar. And they interviewed him twice. And then the cleaner, before they interviewed the cleaner, I told y'all in that report, it said police were told that there were three possible employees who could have vacuumed the ninth floor. 
They only interviewed him. Why not interview the other two? He That's told y'all right. he didn't vacuum That's right. on the night before. I agree with you. So why didn't they interview the other two possible employees? Got them the See, victim. Like, them the uh, main concern. Why? And the main two. And the police only interviewed the security guard about noise complaints, responded to noise complaints on the ninth floor, and they interviewed him twice. But I got a feeling that the second interview was closer to the truth. But Me he didn't too. give us the whole truth. He got the fuck up out of here. Yeah, I don't blame him. And then we had the housekeeper. You know, the same motherfucker who didn't want to speak in front of his supervisor. Housekeeper saw everything. I'm wondering if one of these three motherfuckers is his supervisor. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, just a thought. I think that old man saw some. But then they asked him about his brother. Let me show y'all who could possibly be his brother. Show me. Him. What? The in the blue jacket. But let me explain why I say that. This housekeeper was the only employee that they asked about a brother dating Kanika. What? And on September the 12th, the police spoke to the nigga in the blue jacket because rumors were circulating that he was at the party because we saw that nigga in the kitchen. They turned it like he wasn't in that kitchen. That in his statement, the police asked him whether or not he dated Kanika. What did he say? And understand this. Out of all the niggas that they interviewed from this party, he was the only one they asked. Did he? And then three days later, when they interviewed the housekeeper, they want to know if his brother ever dated Kanika. What? Did they think the nigga in the blue jacket was lying? I mean, you know, just food for thought. You know what? I'm going to stop because right I'm gonna stop right there, y'all. Because the guy in the blue jacket, they tried to make it seem like that man wasn't in that kitchen. Because I remember Greg, Greg Hughes said it. That jacket didn't move right now. Boy, let me put it on there. That jacket didn't move. That jacket moved, baby. I may can't heal good, but I can show see y'all. But when they was in that kitchen, I can't put it on there. But when they was in that... Oh, Lord, let me stop. Stop. Stop, sis. Stop talking. But when they was in that kitchen... <laughs> When they was in that but kitchen, they um, asked him about his brother. Yeah, that's the part I want. Hold on. Let me show y'all who could possibly oh. be his brother. Okay, hold on. Yeah. Okay, there you go. That boy right there was in that kitchen. That jacket was in that kitchen. He had that hoodie on. And when Kanika went. But only thing I ain't understand, y'all. If he was in the kitchen, why was he hiding from Kanika? Or was he hiding from the guy who was carrying Kanika? See, it was some weird stuff going on. Now, I'm going to say that again, what I just said. Why were they hiding in the kitchen if they were looking, waiting on Kanika to come through the kitchen? Somebody was walking Kanika in the kitchen, right? That's what y'all said. Okay. Then on the other video, the uh, hotel video that was added, allegedly, she walked, she walked in the kitchen. What were everybody in the kitchen doing? Just looking at her walk? Who were they hiding from? Don't that make sense to y'all? Who were they hiding from? Why was he hiding in that room? Why didn't he come out and say, hey, man, where you going with Kanika? Why were they hiding in the kitchen? If they waiting on Kanika, were they waiting on Kanika? Were they waiting on somebody else? That's something we need to look at too, y'all. I'm going to stop it right here because I've got to go to work. This is your girl, Lanita Gill. Thank you, 54 Keys, for sharing this video with your sister. But uh, this is Lanita Gill. Like, share, and subscribe. And like 54 Keys said, we on your ass, nigga.
<laughs> and like I say, let's go. <laughs> All right, y'all. Peace. Out of here. Just as fucking nigga.